wall drop, wall presses. In the wall drop position, we have a slant board positioned against the wall and her heels are touching the wall. We're at an angle that's comfortable for her body and her feet are hip width apart. The rest of her body is relaxed back against the wall. In this position, we're creating a vertical load line and stacking those load joints. So the ear is over the shoulder, over the hip, over the knee, over the ankle, putting a little bit more demand on the ankle than the in the hip, while we're also getting a little stretch in the calf and the hamstring and the, that posterior fascial line. We're getting lumbar extension and thoracic extension. So what we're gonna do uh, for the next position of this is she's gonna put her arms at a 45 degree angle down, palms against the wall. She's gonna squeeze her scapulas down and together and for about a count of three and relax. Down and together again, count of three, three and relax. And you can see that as she does that, we're getting more thoracic extension while we're repositioning her shoulder joints. And so she's gonna repeat as her therapist has prescribed. Then she's gonna allow her chin to come down to her chest and maintaining that same thing with the squeezes, scapulas down and together. So it's gonna disengage this upper part, and she's getting a little bit more stretch with her chin to her chest and her cervical spine. And again, repeat as your therapist has prescribed. Then she's gonna flip her palms out and open her chest, open the uh, anterior shoulder a little bit. And again, squeeze down and together. And then after that, the last position, her head comes back to the wall, ear over shoulder. And again, you're getting that extension as you squeeze. You can see the chest lift and repeat as your therapist has prescribed with this as well. And this is wall drop, wall presses.